everyone and welcome to PC Tips Pro. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to block websites on Google Chrome using Chrome extensions. So if you're looking for a way to block sites on Google Chrome, be it for parental control, productivity, time management or content filtering, make sure to watch this whole video. Now, let's get started. So the method that I'm going to show you is by using a Chrome extension called Block Site. It's a popular and user-friendly tool that allows you to block specific websites. So to get started, kindly open your Google Chrome and then type in Chrome Web Store. Now, after arriving here, you can see this extensions option under your Chrome Web Store option. So kindly click on it. Now, after that, you will arrive at this interface where you can see a variety of extensions available for you. Here you can also see some of the recommended ones for you. From here you can see the accessibility extensions, some of the extensions that are recommended for you, etc. But the thing that we are looking for is a block site extension. So for that, you can see this search the store option and all you need to do is type in the name of the extension that you're looking for. In our case, it is block site. So kindly type in block site. Click on the block site option. Now after that, you'll see a variety of options on the right side of your screen. But the one that we need to select is this one. The one that says block site, block website and stay focused. Because the others might require payment. But this you can also use for free. So now you need to click on this extension. And after that you can see here this add to Chrome option. So click on it. Now here it will give you this option to add this extension. Just click on it. And here your extension is being downloaded by the Chrome. Here it's showing an option to choose a plan for one month, 12 months or six months, but you don't need to do that. If you want, you can just go ahead and take the trial pack or you can even pay, but you don't need to do that to add your block site extension. Now, after you've added that extension and installed it, all you need to do is just go to your extensions option. You can do that by clicking on the this three dot options then going to more tools option and from here you need to go to the extensions option and now as you can see your block site block website and stay focused extension that you just downloaded is installed here and it will be visible in the extensions option now after making sure that your extension is added Go to your block site page once more. And as you can see, there is a choose a plan option, but you can just skip it. After that, uh, this will give you an option to get your personalized plan, but you can also skip this. Now here it's asking for your permission to handle your data in order to block certain websites. So go ahead and click on agree and give your permission. Here it's giving a little tutorial on how to block your websites. Just click on next, dismiss. Now, after all that, this is the main block site interface from where you can go ahead and type in the URL of the website that you want to block. You can also click on block by words 
to enter certain words or phrases to block a wider category of websites. So go ahead and type in the name of a certain website. Now, here I have typed the name of a certain website. From now, you can click on the add item option. Here, as you can see, the website name that you just typed is selected here. You can try to go on and search for the website that you selected. To, in order to make sure that it is completely blocked. And here we are. As you can see, the website that you just selected is blocked and it's not showing on the screen. So now we know that it works. Also, you can enable or disable this extension by clicking on the option here that says blocking. As it can be useful uh, if you're looking to block some websites for a certain period of time or if you want to block certain websites from children. Now, if you want to go in depth as for blocking for certain time periods or time frames, as well as getting your own custom block page and password protection, you can go ahead and pay for this extension. But in general, for blocking sites as a whole, all you need to do is just download this Chrome extension and follow the steps. So this was all for the video, guys. I hope you found this video useful. And please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to PC Tips Pro in order to be regularly updated with these helpful tech content. Thank you for watching guys.